Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to run the game Diablo 2 Resurrected on the Apple Silicon Mac. So Diablo 2 Resurrected is basically a remaster of the original Diablo 2 game, which originally did have a Mac port at the time, but this new remaster basically does not have that Mac port. We have to run the Windows version of the game on Apple Silicon Mac. So basically we're going to be using a translation layer called Crossover, and we're going to be downloading the latest version of this. We're also going to be applying something called CX Patcher, which allows us to use Apple's game porting toolkit and something called D3D Metal, which allows us to translate DirectX 12 Windows games onto the Apple Silicon Mac to Metal, the graphics API, and it's going to work pretty smoothly. So here we've got gameplay, and it doesn't work too badly. We've got no major hiccups. We can play online, and it all seems to work pretty well. So in this video today, what I'm going to be doing is showing you the full process of how to get this to work. We're going to install Crossover, CX Patcher, D3D Metal, the latest version, 2.0.83, which is the latest at the time of recording. And I'll show you step by step how to do this. It's going to be fairly straightforward as long as you follow all the steps in order and we're going to get this game running as well as possible on our on the Apple Silicon Mac. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code, Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge, off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what i'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button so once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time press open it might ask you to install rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the code weavers account so i'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically Basically, we're ready to go ahead and use Crossover, but the first thing I'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to Crossover. This is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of D3D Metal. At the time of recording, that's version 2.0 beta 3. So here we're going to be downloading the latest version of CX Patcher, which I'll be leaving a link in the description, and we're going to be using 0.5.6. And this contains the latest update to Game Porting Toolkit 2.0, which is D3D Metal 2.0 beta 3. So here, what we're going to do is go to Assets and then download the CX patcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads and then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this and then we're going to move this into our applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it. And then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened, then go to the Settings menu here, go to System Settings and then go to Security and Privacy and then scroll down until we find here it says CX Patcher can't be opened. It was blocked to protect your Mac. Click open anyway and here we can close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you if you need help from code weavers, then you should be waiting for official support, which is probably going to come in the very near future. If you want to be able to use this, you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed. Now CX Patch is ready to use. So we're going to configure some settings first, go to advanced options, and then we're going to be enabling DXVK integrate GPTK. We're going to use a separate bottle path. We're going to be advertising AVX. We're going to be allowing DXVK async, and then we can tweak some of these settings too. So now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So I double click on crossover. So this is my crossover bottle. I already have Steam installed, but what I'm going to do instead is download the Battle.net version. And basically we can just download this, the Battle.net desktop app. And what this will do is install the Battle.net launcher into its own bottle. So I'm going to press install here, and then it's going to go ahead and download and install all the dependencies that we need. We're going to press yes here to the font installation and press yes again. Here it's installing Visual C++, just agree and press install, press close. Then I'm going to press next, agree and next, and then install. And here I'm going to press finish. So here I'm going to press yes as well to Visual C++ 2005, 2008, etc. A lot of dependencies here. Once again, press install, close. And again, install, and then press finish here. So you're going to select the language, English, and it's downloading the agent. So press continue. Now it's installing properly. 
So here we have the Battle.net launch as there's a Windows version. We're going to log in with our email address and password. So now I'm just going to go to my authenticator and approve, and then we're going to go ahead and log in. So here is asking if we want to scan for games, but we're actually going to download these and then we'll just go to games here. And basically, if you have any of these Battle.net games attached here, you can already find them in your library here, or you can buy them from the shop here. So just go ahead and select the game that you want. So here we're going to go ahead and install Diablo 2 Resurrected. So here I'm going to press the install button. Button, and then we're going to let this install into its default location. Just press the start install button and then wait for this to complete its installation. So we basically need to wait for the 30 gigabyte download to complete. And once it's ready, then you should have the play button ready to press here. We're going to press that button and it's going to say launching and it's going to load up. We're going to press allow if uh, Battle.net wants to access any of our documents. And then Diablo 2 is now running. So here you can see that Diablo 2 Resurrected is running not too badly on my MacBook Pro with the M3 Max chip. We're running at 1080p at high graphics settings and everything seems to work from the UI to the inventory interface. And we're also connected online as well. So everything should function pretty much as normal and uh, we have the redone graphics as well in this version of the game which looks not too bad and it's great to see that Diablo 2 is working again on Apple Silicon Max. Anyway I hope you found this video useful I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel other Windows games running on Apple Silicon hardware so make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.